ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are reacting. Welcome back to Bobby Reacts. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's that time of the season. The leaks are here. Normally, I wouldn't even be up this early, but I'm actually going to be casting like a sniper event that Three or More is hosting over on the stream channel if you guys want to check it out after you watch this video. But anyway, I woke up to see that Garena caught him. So <laughs> I was actually downstairs scrolling through Garena caught him Instagram pages. Uh, saw that they leaked the battle pass, came upstairs. They had already deleted it, but fortunately, people are quick with the trigger finger. So we'll be taking a look at a few of the different things, uh, as well as what Call of Duty Mobile has officially posted about the new season anyway. So you can see right here, hacking season 13, going all the way back. It says season 14, new order up right there, and then you're going to actually see it blur as it moves across season one coming to Call of Duty Mobile. Obviously, that doesn't necessarily mean a ton, uh, but hopefully it does mean there are some big things coming. This is this is not the page where it was leaked. Uh, so obviously they posted the same look. It is a very cyberpunk looking type of thing. Not a whole lot. Uh, people were guessing that this is probably going to be one of the character skins. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty nice character skin. Obviously, FTL is a skin that we've already had before. And it's kind of a combination of that and the Season 12, I believe it was, Battle Pass skin uh, that went along with the Type 25. I can't remember what the actual name of it was. Uh, Green Akadem Indonesia is where the initial Battle Pass leaks were actually posted. Uh, and I went and checked, and then the most recent thing was posted six hours ago. So it was actually posted two hours ago. It has since been taken down. But fortunately, like I said, people quick with the trigger fingers. Green Akadem allowed to give their actual first Battle Pass sneak peek, and that's the FTL that we saw on some of the other pages. But not a whole lot given away in that one. We do have kind of another little teaser right here. So very, very cyberpunk looking, but... Um, that's, honestly, it was like Cyberpunk vibes for Season 11, but Cyberpunk just wasn't out yet, so people were mad about it. <laughs> um, so I don't know if people will be less mad about this one. For some reason, people always seem to complain anytime we get, uh, a battle pass that isn't, like, ultra-realistic, which, like, realistic battle passes are cool sometimes, but at the same time, I like the bright, colorful ones. We do have the new map coming soon that is going to be uh, Rebirth, a.k.a. Reclaim, is for some reason what the name of it is going to be. Um, that is my Instagram. We don't need to look at that. And here we do have the official Battle Pass leak. So I don't actually know where this one came from. Um, the actual leaks uh, that are posted by Garena, I'll show you guys in a second, but you can see, obviously, the new weapon, the FR-556. We had known that was coming. That is the Modern Warfare name for the FAMAS. The HBR A3 capacitor, if the HBR doesn't get a buff, I don't think many people would be excited about that. Uh, it doesn't look like a crazy cool skin, to be completely honest with you. HG-40 Cyber Sick. That one also, uh, I think that skin looks cooler than the HBR does. At the same time, if the HG40 doesn't get a buff, nobody's really going to care. And then the Locust Carbon uh, looks like the generic Locust that we had in the credit store and could be bought a while ago. So maybe there are aspects of it that you can't really see in the picture that are going to be really cool. But honestly, from what we're seeing right here... I'm not really super excited about this battle pass, and obviously there will be more to it as well. We do have a crate in the background right here, which gives me a feeling that potentially battle pass crates could be returning, which I would really like to see since that's something we haven't had since like season three or four. I can't remember which one it was. And then this is actually what Garena Cod Mobile ended up posting. So you can see, obviously they weren't supposed to post it because uh, if we go back to Garena Cod Mobile right here, there's nothing like that on the page. <laughs> uh, so somebody got in trouble for not doing their job correctly. But you can see the Locust Carbon Cut. It says Epic. Uh, everything about this looks like a generic rare skin. I mean, honestly, it looks like an uncommon skin. Uh, but hopefully it'll be better than that. 
Like I said, I do like the HG40. Typically, we have four or five epic gun skins, so hopefully there's a really cool one coming that we can't see right here. Uh, if I had to guess, probably the FR556 is going to have an epic skin. Obviously, we haven't seen that one yet. And then we do have the HBR A3 capacitor, which is just kind of mad. The HBR, not a great gun. There's not significant structural changes to the gun, so... Uh, nothing to be crazy excited about, but just some initial teasers for Season 1, and hopefully more leaks to come, so make sure to subscribe to the squad if you guys haven't already. That's going to be it for the video. Make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.